Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars adventure in Project Zomboid. Okay, everybody. Well, if you notice, early access in version 32. So we're in build 32 now. Is that amazing? What does that mean with my old game? I don't know. Let me. Let's explore this stuff a bit and I'll kind of talk about the game and then we'll go from there. So let's see if there's any kind of new options here. I haven't really played with these. Uh, clock format is fine, month and day, because I'm a Canadian, I like that. Let's see here, just kind of looking official. That's kind of cool. It tells you what track is playing at the moment, that's kind of neat. Key bindings, they're kind of the same. Okay, well that's kind of cool. Let's, let's just hit save on that, okay. Well, let's let's give the tutorial a shot and see what happens here. Let's see let's see what this is all about, and then and then next episode we'll do the solo. So so if you don't want to watch this one, then yeah, then we'll go from there. But anyways, you we'll carry on. So with build 32, it just came out on Monday here. Today is the 30th, June the 30th. So it came out on Monday. Well, what does that mean? Well. Uh, let's see, so Tuesday, so June 29th. That means that by the time you see this, it'll be in, in July, probably July the 4th, around there, just because I have some videos already queued up, and I figured I'm going to do this one because of the new build. So yeah, so it'll be a little bit late, but you know, it'll be explaining about the build a little bit there. So, you build 32. So what they read, uh, what they've done is they've redid the zombies they've kind of made you know this new herd mentality now so there's these like these leader zombies and these other zombies will follow that leader so there's kind of that kind of mentality or mentality AI to the system and then there's let's see what else is there then there is the like a new UI so they kind of added more more context things like you can right click and you create an item or right click and do this or you double click to, to put the item into your your inventory so they're kind of adding kind of smoother functionality to, to the game they've done a bunch of bug fixes to it as well as uh, you added in kind of like a crafting UI and so they kind of changed that stuff they built a, the, the tutorial level now and uh, when I loaded the game up, it was a lot smoother and quicker. It's, yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with how quickly it loaded up. So we'll see how the video looks when we we play, and we'll go from there. So yeah, so so definitely, this is definitely the game to check out if you're looking for kind of a game to run around and kill zombies and just do a lot of looting, do a lot of boring stuff, and I don't know. For me, I, I like this style of game. It's it's different. It's an RPG, but not. It's open world. I like open world, but then I can do whatever I want. So, yeah. So let's let's check out the tutorial. So it still does this. These are the end times. <laughs> yeah, this is where it's loading, generating. There was no hope of survival. This is where it's loading, generating the world. Um, I realize this is kind of like the loading screen and yeah and I like the premise of the game of just how that you know this game is gonna kill you eventually and how is it gonna do that right so I don't know I like that I like that idea it's, it's just different you know, the only problem is I don't like oh, let's click to start the only problem is I don't like how it's not like a randomly generated world. Maybe that will happen at some point. Maybe they have plans for that because that would be cool if it, if it randomly generated a big map and you were no one game would be the same, right? Kind of like a seven days to die, but 2D version. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, let's check out Project Zomboid here. So welcome to Project Zomboid. Shortly you'll find yourself dying horribly. No one will mourn you and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go out fighting. Press space to continue. I wish you could click here, but it wants space. First things first, you can zoom in with your mouse wheel or the equals minus key. So let's get a bird's eye view of the lonely place where you're going to die. Zoom out. 
Now zoom back in again. Cool. That was great. Okay, next up, clicking on this heart icon will bring up your character information. Here you can see your health status. Scratches, bites, broken limbs, all shown here for your convenience. If you have medical skills, it's also here that you'll be able to patch yourself up. Press space to continue. Speaking of which, let's check out the exciting skills panel. Click on the skills tab. You're really good at this. It's going to be such a shame to lose you. This panel shows your points and various survival skills. While attempting to delay your death, endgame activities will build up skill points that level you up in that particular discipline. Your learning speed can be increased by reading books. Ultimately, your brain will become cold, dead sludge. But in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? I'm really excited about what's coming next. Close the character panel to find out what. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And then it flashes where you need to go. It's looking at stuff. Woo! Hold down right mouse button and move the mouse. You'll turn plot twist. You can only see the direction you're facing. Swift and unexpected death can come from behind, whether from the shambling undead host or your fellow man. Press space to continue. Let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move around with the WASD keys. Why not walk around into the adjacent room? He told you it was safe. Oh. Oh no, that sounds like a dead person. Often projects long, you need to run away quickly. Sprint back to the marker. Hold shift and the WASD keys. Uh, okay, that's why I was holding the right mouse button. Starvation can be stalled by looting the homes of the recently deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel, expand it. Ooh, to pick it up, let's double click. Let's grab the water bottle, because that's what it tells you. We should probably pick that up, or that empty bottle too. Dying of thirst is horrid. Do you see those boodles on the right of the screen? It looks like someone has a, tum a rumbly tumbly. Time to eat. Right clicking an item will bring up interaction options. See, so we're going to eat it uncooked. That's interesting. Eat, and we're just going to eat it all. It should flash which one it wants you to eat. That's better. Apart from the nausea, press spacebar to continue. <laughs> oh, hey, let's fill up your water bulb before the water is cut off. Right-clicking items in the world will also bring up interaction points, so fill your water bottle up in the sink. Uh, the right-click, oh, fill empty water bottle. There we go. You can look in nearby containers or on the floor by clicking these icons. Conveniently enough, there might be a weapon hidden nearby. Go loot. So you go like that, click that. Frying pan. So let's right-click, equip, equip primary. It's getting stuffy in here. Let's pop out a window and get some fresh air while your lungs are still inflated. Walk to the window. Okay, press E now for the pure joy of it. <laughs> you want to interact with objects. Oh, cool. Look at that. Spawn. <laughs> Zombie sneak out the window and beat it back to death. Hold E. Hold right mouse button. We move into position. And then we... Oh, we missed. Bang. Take that one. Now she's on the ground. Feel the hammer to pierce her brain. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, it's not doing it right. There we go. Congratulations. Check out the Project Zomboid Survival Guide F1 for more tips on survival from cooking to crafting, construction, farming, and looting. Press space to continue. So, only one more thing you need to know. If you ever get a zombie bite, then press Q and you will swallow the antidote to the infection. Press Q now. Try it now. Okay. Duh. Only kidding. All hope is gone. There's no antidote. Oh, shit. What's going on? Ah. Let's how about this way? Ah. How about this way? Ah. How about this way quickly? Ah. Ah, no. Fight. 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 Ah! 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 Run! I can't run, but my bones are broken. Ah! Ah! Is that cool? Ah, blah! There you go! And it tells you how long you survive for, and the game modes, and. Yes, yeah, so that must be the new zombie thing, where you can. Yeah, that must be totally the new zombie thing awesome so there you go everybody this is the tutorial level let's see what happens if I click 
And I think it's going to take me back. Yeah, there you go, everybody. So that's the tutorial for Project Zomboid. It's still alpha, or well, I think it's alpha, or early access. So what does that mean? Well, that means that they're still going to flesh out the tutorial. I imagine that they'll probably add in, you know, everything else in there, such as crafting, um, you know, probably something for each of those to show off each part of the game, probably. Maybe even a book to read, or to have you know that you can find before you you press the queue. You maybe kind of delay that kind of further down. But yeah, no, that's definitely really cool. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is they redone the music in this game now. And I didn't really notice it because I was too busy in the tutorial. But yeah, I think in the next episode when we do the solo, we'll be able to check that out. And I don't know if we still have our old world or not. I guess we'll find out about that in the next episode. So yeah, so thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and effort to watch this whole video. Um, you know, I'm no professional YouTuber or anything like that out there. and you know, I don't really want to be, but I do want you to have a good time while you're watching you know, the footage. And, and while you, you know, you're at least spending the time to watch this video in particular. So yeah, so thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate all kind of like likes, and comments, and even subscriptions. Yes, I know. It's a lame thing that people ask for and it bugs me You whenever I, I hear everyone else do it. But you know what? The fact of the matter is, is if you enjoyed this episode and you want to continue seeing more of this kind of stuff, then you like the video. You know, heck, it's a simple click, right? And if you want, if you want to feel bold, just you know, comment up there. Because my thing is, is it doesn't matter who you are, or what you are, or whatever. You know, you, you know, we're all gamers, and we all enjoy playing games. As simple as that. You know, regardless of what differences everyone might have, and regardless of what goes on in people's lives, you know, games is is one of those things that I grew up with. I grew up with in the past, and yeah. So you definitely comment if you feel like it, and. You good or bad doesn't matter <laughs> if they're bad whatever <laughs> you know you take it with a grain of salt <laughs> uh, it's so funny and yeah and subscribe if you if you feel like you want to kind of watch the channel and see what more will come out you know i know i'm doing your project zomboid at the moment but you know i'm also doing the other your videos so check those out you know check out the other playlists uh you're from the old you know, the old stuff I used to record, you know, back when I kind of first started getting into YouTube. Um, and then and then going from there, I just kind of watched the progression up until now. And now it's more like I don't give a rat's ass about anything. And, you know, I'll, I'm going to record and play these games and, you know, upload the footage. And whether people are watching or not is another story. But, yeah, but thank you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>